a little louder. <coughs> Frog in my throat. So okay. it has come to my attention that we were not provided with important and relevant information before we were asked to vote to reject returning the polling place for Old Bridge Ward 2, District 7, which matter was brought up without prior notice at a meeting whose limited purpose was to review ballots in the Brunswick School Board election. So I intend to make a motion that we reconsider and reverse that vote and move the polling place from that district to its pre-pandemic location. First, I would note that this is the only instance to my knowledge where we, ref we refused to return a polling location to its prior pre-pandemic pre location when asked to do so. And there are really no reasons to handle this request differently from all of the other prior requests. Second, the election district consists solely of an age-restricted community, the Plaza Grand at Old Ridge, a community of essentially all senior citizens, where the polling location was in the community's clubhouse. It has been the board's practice when asked to accommodate such communities by making it easier for senior citizens to vote by being able to vote in their own communities. There are many examples of this in Monroe, for example, including one such community to which I will be moving shortly. Third, the location where the polling place was moved during the pandemic and where it is now, unless it is returned to the community's clubhouse, is the Old Bridge Senior Center, which is almost three and a half miles away from the community, a distance which is not clearly not easily walkable. I would note that Title 19 contemplates using locations that are accessible to, quote, elderly and individuals with disabilities, unquote, which under circumstances, where under certain circumstances, it is required that the polling location should be located within the election district or within a thousand feet from the boundary line of the district, and only if there is no such suitable polling place, then the Secretary of State must first give permission to use a more distance location. I am also advised that the Old Bridge Senior Center with the addition of the polling place for this election district is crowded. Fourth, based on being told during the meeting that the community clubhouse had not been inspected for Wi-Fi connectivity, we, or at least I, got the impression that returning this polling place to its pre-pandemic location was a last minute request so that there would be no time to inspect the location. This couldn't be further from the truth. Last year, on November 29, 2022, the Old Bridge Municipal Clerk first requested in writing that Plaza Rand at Old Bridge be reinstated as the polling place for Ward 2, District 7. And Tom Lynch, by email on the same date, acknowledged receiving the request and stated that the Board of Election staff would inspect the location. And that email was copied to our relevant staff members. If there was never any such inspection done, why did this not happen and why weren't we informed? If anyone wants to see the copies of these emails, I have them here with me. Finally, the fact that this was brought up without prior notice on April 25th at a meeting called solely for an entirely different purpose gave me the impression that this was being done then rather than including it on the agenda for this regular meeting it was probably because we were coming up on a legal deadline we had to meet for approving and certifying polling locations or that we had actually missed the deadline. This is also incorrect. NJS 19-8-4 requires the Board of Elections to certify our polling places by May 15th. So there was plenty of time to have all of this done on notice at this meeting. And there was plenty of time now to move the polling place location back to where, in my opinion, it properly belongs. I therefore hereby move to reconsider the prior motion which kept the polling place for Old Bridge Ward 2, District 7 at the Old Bridge Senior Center rather than returning it to its pandemic location, at the pre-pandemic location at the Plaza Grand Clubhouse. Then, to the extent it may be necessary, I will make a further motion to return the polling location to the Plaza Grand Clubhouse, which I understand is the desire of the residents of Plaza Grand and which desire is supported by their elected officials. So I make that motion. I second the motion. Well, no, it's a discussion. That would be discussion. I've already discussed. Although, if anyone else has a discussion, so, we have so to respond. Did we have an issue with the polling place? Let's go back in history, I guess. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
But then again, we had many other polling locations that also ended up being terminated because of the pandemic. Four in New Brunswick, for example. So I don't, I, I'm not, and, and if you may recall, uh, when we had this meeting we were talking about, I said, I didn't want, and, and, and this was all information, none of this information was available or given to us because it was, this thing was, was brought up on, as a surprise at a meeting that was not called for anything except a, a ballot review for New Brunswick School I wouldn't, use, I wouldn't use the words, first of all, don't, don't your surprise looks like you're, it's accusatory. Just uh, let, me, let me finish, I have the floor, okay? And uh, you're allowed to bring up anything on a meeting, okay? You're allowed to bring anything up on a meeting at any meeting. So I didn't so say you didn't, okay. but nevertheless, nevertheless, we got no prior notice that's, of this, that's, that's, and we did not get the information, the information that I subsequently found out about this situation. And nor are we getting prior notice that you have this, you haven't sent this to any of the commissioners. That's you correct. Okay, so it's so, just, so I, yes. just, I just want to make sure we're talking about it, not that we're throwing stones, mm -hmm. okay? So it sounds like you're being accusatory, um, so I'd like to go to Administrator Lynch and find out just generally the history. I mean, the, the general history is that, yes, there was a location in New Brunswick that uh, didn't want to be a location because of COVID, but there was at least notice well before the election where that happened. The Plaza Grand, and again, I, I'm not operating independently. This was based off a discussion amongst these commissioners three years ago when the Plaza Grand canceled being a polling location four days before an election. And at that meeting following said, we're never going back to the Plaza Grant. That was the comments from the commissioners at that particular time. So in terms of coming to the commissioners regarding the recommendation from the clerk, I did remind the commissioners of that fact. Actually, you did not remind us of that fact at that meeting. Of what? But it doesn't matter. You, we, you remind us of the fact that they canceled four days before. Yes. Not that, we, not that the commissioners said anything about never going back. I, I believe I had an email that said that the commissioners, and again, Notifying the commissioners that the president at post meeting, the commissioner said, "We don't intend to go back to the Plaza Grand." Well, there are many. That's 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 fine, but um, there were other. If you recall at the meeting that we approved this, I raised the issue, said it's not. I thought it's it's not. It's it's really not a good policy decision to be voting for something because we're angry at what happened. That's not a good reason to, to vote for something. And then we just voted because we had other things that were, seemed appropriate at the time, but there was no, no thought or nothing necessary into it. So that's, what, that's the story. And again, um, it, would be, it would be going into a single district. We have never, oh, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm not going to go I'm sorry, go ahead. It, you're the commissioner, but I'm saying, we, we would be going back to a single district, which would require four poll workers, two, two poll books, a voting machine, an inspection, which we haven't done in terms of connectivity, uh, at a time frame which you said, you know, that we have to submit things to the, the clerk of the state and in terms of recruiting for, for poll workers. Tom, in November, you respond to the clerk and say, we should, we would check it out. So how come it's not done? Again, at that point, I mean, she sent me a list of polling locations. I, I re, re responded. It's, it was before, it was before, was before, before that. that. I wouldn't even have remembered it until the conversation regarding when we were having the list. At the time of list. inspections, it was not inspected due to the fact it was agreed upon and voted by the commissioners that we would never go back to there. That was not the issue. You didn't, did you, no one told, no one told the municipal clerk that. We did not make it, we did not make a further dis decision on that. And that's there. Here is a, uh, let's see. November 29th from the municipal clerk to Tom. I have received a request to have the Plaza Grand reinstated as a polling location for the 2023 election cycle. Location address such and such. Please revise me of the profit, uh, process. From Tom to, to Kay. Thank you, received. You would include this location as part of your submission for polling locations in 2023. Our staff will inspect. But again, inspect and approve are two different things. Fine. Okay. But you didn't and, inspect and, it. I'm Did sorry. Did you inspect it? No, we didn't inspect it. We, we said we were going to inspect it. Based off of the previous board meeting. And you never mentioned it to us about that. About what? About that, that this request came in and whether we should consider it or reconsider it because a lot of, uh, there have been a lot of changes to pre-pandemic 
to things that were pre-pandemic polling locations, that pre-pandemic polling locations that were moved, and we're, I'm happy whenever we see them that we're going back to the pre to, to back to the pre-pandemic location. Again, I can appreciate that, but again, I'm going based off of the conversation. But you didn't talk to us about it, Tom. Because I had a board meeting where from we discussed from four years ago, where we said we were not from going four back, years ago, we were not going back to the Plaza Grand because they canceled so close to the election. So it was mentioned but four years changed, ago, and you're not going to change. So now they want to go back to the Plaza Grand. Yes. So, so I guess After the question is: Has anybody done. researched? What has changed except your, des your, just let me hear, your desire to be there? The problem that we had, correct me if I'm wrong, they canceled on us four days before. Mm -hmm. That's a, I'm assuming that's a, it's a community, so it's a board decision. It was not a board decision. Well, Apparently I don't, it was a decision of their attorney. Well, the attorney that doesn't take, doesn't do it arbitrarily. The attorney takes advice from the board. So it's got to be a board decision telling the attorney they don't want it. As I said at the last But Don, doesn't that make sense? But doesn't that revenge, revenge, revenge is not a policy. This is not revenge. Revenge is not a policy. This is not revenge. This is operating. Not revenge. They canceled on us. If it's the same board, or if it's similar to the same members on the board, they told their attorney they don't want it. They came to us. We had to scramble four days before. We made a discussion and said, "This is ridiculous. We don't want to be, we don't want to be held captive by a board. This has nothing to do with one. It really doesn't have anything to do with one polling place. Their board told us no. So we're going to go back into a situation. We're going to go back into a situation that the possibility could happen again. I'm not saying it would. It could happen again. We don't know that. A lot of things happen in the pandemic." This was no, four. You said this was this was this three was, years ago. Was, was that? We said pandemic. Was, was this pandemic decision three years ago? Pandemic whatever, whatever. oriented. It was a pandemic issue. Okay. It was a pandemic. It was a pandemic issue. Pandemic, a lot of things happened in pandemic. The, the governor put executive orders in place that violated the election law. Have you talked to the executive board? The executive board of whom? Of this community. No. Why not? Why should I talk to the executive because board? Because you're 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 pushing. I'm, I'm, pushing, no, I'm, I'm you're pushing saying, this. You're pushing this. Done. Proper you're, policy is to have polling locations to, uh, to as convenient as possible to the voters. Don, no one's disagreeing with that. Well, I'm no moving a polling place three and a half miles from the, from the, from the location. Don, there are voters who go three and a half miles. Yeah, for okay. senior citizens. Yes, but for senior you're citizans, making, if there's a conflict, if there's a This complex, is a 55 and over community. You, don't, you can't just call them senior citizens. Yes, they're seniors. The area in, All in right. Oak Ridge. Pardon me? The area that it is in Old Bridge, yes. it's on the border of Marlboro. There is nothing closer to that area than where it is. Than the community at the community center at the at the clubhouse. I seem to recall actually going back. I think in 2012 when we had Sandy, and we we Old Bridge was a question of what what we had connectivity, and we actually went out and looked at places. I think I went to that place that, that place, and. Not that it's relevant for this part, but they were really troopers. There was one. There was a. There was a uh, generator, which provided electricity for two things: the voting machine and one floodlight. No heat, nothing else, and they operated because it, it was important to do that, and they did it. And as I said, re re revenge, and I feel it's revenge. Is, is not a is not a proper proper policy. We have. I don't think revenge is the proper word. I will take complete ownership. It was not inspected because I was basing that off of the commissioner's but decision you got from the previous. Valerie, you got a copy of the email from Tom, which says we're going to we're going to inspect. That email was sent right after the general election. Yes. I'm sure Tom just responded in a timely manner, stating that if you propose that location, it will be inspected. But no, it does not say that. Not it says we will that inspect. Took. That we away. will inspect. Okay. Any, uh, this I'm, has nothing to do with revenge. <laughs> it, it was. It's not acceptable that we don't go back when, when we have a. Okay, I won't going to go through that again. I made the motion to reconsider. I, if no one has any uh, any any other comments, I would I'm, respect. I'm yeah. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm new guy here, so I. I wasn't here when you guys made this decision. Apparently, I'm just listening in on the, the facts. Um, 
as presented. Um, I, I don't. I don't. I, it seems to me that it would be very troublesome, create a lot of chaos and a lot of work for someone to cancel on us four days before an election. And I can only imagine the work that the people on the ground had to do. I don't think it's revenge. I think it's prudent to, to look at a situation like that and say we never want to be in that situation again, right? If a dog bites you and you never pet it again, that's not revenge. It's that you learned from the mistakes of the past and you chose not to ever pet that dog again. Similarly, I would think here that not going back to a situation or a board that can make a decision and pull the rug out from under you seems prudent. I represent boards and I can tell you that they can make this decision at any point in time and put us in, in the position of peril right before elections. I mean, I'm, you know, and again, I'm still learning. You guys have been here a lot longer than me. I'd be interested in knowing how many of these places we're beholden to a board that can do something like that to us because that is of great concern to me. Hearing that, that that's a possibility troubles me. I wouldn't want to put us in that position ever. So I can tell you, you know, I have no revenge on this because I don't really have a position either way. I, I'm, not, I'm not committed to a decision you guys made in the past. And, and, and so, you know, I, I would be the first one to say I'm not committed to that and I, I want to make a new decision. But, you know, just hearing that on its face without any other information really gives me some cause for alarm that, you know, and I get it was, it was the pandemic and, and everything like that, but, uh, you know, I mean, I just, I just wouldn't put myself in that position generally across the board. And I think that's where, well, where you, I, I think that's where I would, would stand today. If, if you're talking about across the board, any, we have many private lo polling locations. We have many uh, condominium homeowners association locations. Are we in contracts with them or anything of that nature? To penalize them if they no. Actually, we don't have a contract because we talked about that. We said we said we would. We're more of a trouble because if they don't sign a contract, we sent what well, we sent them guidelines. We sent them, the we sent them guidelines. Yeah, because I just I just I'm just yeah. hearing this for the first time. It's like whoa, they, someone could cancel on us right before. That's crazy. That's not that's not uh, 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 that's not a minor thing. That's some, that's some major thing. But right before election, that has the potential of disenfranchising more voters than anything I've heard about since I've been here someone canceling on, on us right before an election. I, I would do all I could to make sure it never happened again. So. How can we, how can we don't, you've done, you said they talked about contracts, how can we don't do a contract with everybody? Because if they don't sign a contract, we, what, you, what are we going to do? We're going to yell at them and we're going to move, we're going to move the, the, uh, the, the polling places out of all of, the, <coughs> all of the condominium associations? First of all, if they do it, they're going to, they're going to end up, they want to give it to their attorney, their attorney's going to question, we're going to end up with men, amendments, etc. So. I originally thought that came, the contract part came up because I was actually going through files and uh, Jim Bokro had, had prepared a draft of the contract. Mm -hmm. So I brought it up. So we did that. And then our discussion generally was let's just give them guidelines because we want them, we, they have the guidelines and they're notice what our guidelines are as opposed to dealing with the contract, which was another issue. So that's what we did. I think it makes sense for these people to vote in their community. Of travel. I, I'm not, I, I don't, dis, listen, you'll get no disagreement out of that, out of that as it stands. So what is your objection? My objection is, is that we had a board that arbitrarily made a decision, okay, and I would feel, and no one's talked to the board, and no one's talked to, you just made a statement, and I I have an email from the, the, the director Requesting us to request you have, to come you have, you have a, you have a uh, It was sent to, was sent to the municipal the clerk. clerk. Okay. No, and then I have the email so that was sent to the clerk from Donna for all in this trying to make it. It's an email from. Um, it's right now, the community manager of the association to the municipal clerk. Um, a poor conversation before the plaza ground would be happy to be reinstated as a polling location for Holbridge. Please let me know what else you need for me to make this happen. Contract. Yeah, say, maybe, maybe we can have some reassurance. I don't know. Holbridge wants it, right? The community. I, I just, I just feel the reason that because I've given them the benefit of the doubt, it was COVID. 
<coughs> things were not as normal, you know. I mean, if you have an association, they, they might have wanted it there, and the attorney advised them not to do it, or vice versa. With the whole thing with COVID, it was just such such a new thing. So I believe in second chances, but that's me. Can't we vote on it again? Do we have to? No, the, the motion. So we had, the motion was made to reconsider. Right. So we've every all discussed. So you should call for the vote. All right. Just one, vote one point though is that the and again just for for the vote is that the the, the, the location in question hasn't been inspected. Yeah. Well, you have to inspect it. One, the location for purposes of for for purposes of disability, etc. The, the location has not changed. It's the clubhouse. It's, it's the same place. There's one room, so that's so presumably it's the same. That's the same room, so it's not a disability issue. And have we? Have, I don't recall any location that we've said we can't be in this location because of connectivity. We've always made it work, but we had to be sure when it worked. Sure. So I don't think that that's germane for these purposes. We need to get somebody out there to do it right away to make sure that it's set up properly. And we have until the 15th. No, okay. we can certify it anyway, because I, I don't believe that there's been any location. Well, there have been locations that are more difficult for connectivity, but there's been no location that we, connectivity was not possible. I, did we, is there any location that we said, they came back and said connectivity is not possible, so we would have to move the polling location? Well, we would, we would then plan for a greater point if we have the right. resources. Right, fine, but we haven't moved the location. We have not moved the location. Okay, that's fine. So let's call for a vote. Maria? Chairman, yes. Somebody talks too low down there. Commissioner Frankel. To reconsider. I can't hear him. Commissioner Frankel. This is only a vote to reconsider the polling place? Well, I'm going to make another motion immediately thereafter if this passes that we approve the polling at that location. But this one is the motion to, to reconsider. reconsider. Um, I'll vote to reconsider. Commissioner yes. Pence. Yes. Commissioner Jones. Aye. Commissioner Benjamin. Yes. Okay. Now I make a motion that we move the polling place for Old Bridge Ward 2, District 7, from the Old Bridge Senior Center to the, I forget the right name of this place again, to the Association the Association Clubhouse. Plaza Grand. Plaza, 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 Plaza Grand Association Clubhouse. From the senior center. Well, yeah, from the senior center. Second? We need a second. Oh, a second. Discussion? Okay. Discussion? Okay. okay. Discussion. So, no, no, I just, well, here's, look, in order to vote on something like that, I would feel much more comfortable if somebody uh, either, first of all, the request is coming from a community manager. Um, Director? No, no, I no, think it's, it's a manager. A manager person on, behalf of the associate, on behalf of the association. So I would feel, I, I would, Don, the, the people who canceled last time were the board of directors. No. I was told that the person that pe that this was canceled. Well, if you've based done so much, if you've done so much research, that's what I was told, if you've I done so much, question. if you've done so much research, I would feel more comfortable if someone from the board of elections, I guess you, because you've been close to this, would speak to the board of directors before I would say I want to change that. I'm not. I'm, I'm just I'm, giving you my fine, opinion. Okay, good. Okay, okay. that's what fine, I'm doing. Good. So I will. That's my discussion. Okay. okay. Any further discussion? I, I I would need an insurance that. The situation we found ourselves in before wouldn't happen again, and, and I do agree that it would have to come from someone uh, with the authority to do so, um, not just a, the higher management at the location. Um, you know, I mean, I mean, I, I I am sympathetic to the fact that it was during COVID; things may have changed, and you know that means something to me. But I, I if this is your second chance at it. You know, it, 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 sh it should be, we should be convinced that there's not going to be a problem or that there's no, I mean, we don't even know if there's any infighting between the boards as there often is on boards or disagreements. And if the person that contacted 
the clerk disagrees, you know, is, is, is in the minority. And if, you know, I, I just, I, I wonder what would happen if we, you know, if this goes through and we go forward for that and then it's not even a possibility thereafter. So, that's my thought. Any further discussion? I will note that I said in my initial remarks that the elected officials are supporting this and I understand that the election officials are supporting this because constituents contacted them that they wanted it. Did you speak to both sides? Both sides of what? You said elected officials. Have you spoke to both no. sides? No. Well, that's why I'm asking you. Have no. you spoke to both sides? No. Okay. So but I, I, I don't know if you were responding to me, uh, Hunter, but I, I, was just, I, was just, I was just speaking I was speaking about the board. That's, the what, actual, I, that's, that's, yeah, that's what I was doing. Okay. That, that's all. Okay, Maria. Chairman Engel? Yes, to move. Commissioner Franklin? No. Commissioner Cap? Yes. Commissioner Bellow? No. Commissioner Benjamin? Yes. Okay. On to the next, next new, new business. Administrative reports. Can we do a James Thomas first, please? Hmm? Can we do a uh, James? James. Uh, James. James. Not James. Let's stay in Let's stay in the middle six. Stay in six guy. Within packets, uh, commissioners, this again similar to what we did for New Brunswick, Sayreville, uh, Old Bridge, and uh, uh, New Brunswick. It's just uh, corrections to the uh, shape file for Jamesburg and SVRS. Uh, during the petition, the uh, clerk and the county clerk notified us that there were some streets that were in uh, District One that should be in District Two. Uh, so the board already moved the voters for District 1 in correctly into District 2 so there would be no impact to mail-in ballots, poll books, or uh, election day processes. But we, I would still ask you to, much like we did for those ones, to, I guess, in a sense, uh, ask us to send a correct shape file to the state so that it's implemented uh, for, new, for, I guess, for, for future elections. That's fine. By the, by the way, um, this was we raised this at, a, at the prior meeting, and I, um, I I alerted the Republican chair about that what this was happening. So I would suggest somebody that's the yeah. Democratic chair. Oh, we were to approve that, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 To to both parties yeah. and both chairs. Yeah. What we normally send before, no? Uh, Only after approval. We notify when we make changes. Well, chair. this is not. This is not. This, this is, is not a. a this is like an administrative. Yeah. Somewhere along the line, okay. at least put it together. Made, made a mistake. All we're doing is correcting. Is correcting the mistake. It's not. It's nothing else. It's administrative. Okay, so we need a motion. How do you what? what, what we were talking. I, Tom, did we actually? Didn't we? Did we vote on it? Or were we, I don't know what we're voting on. Uh, what do you want us? What you? Well, what are you comfortable? With? What do you want from us to do? You want us to pass a yeah, motion I mean, to say I, what? If I think I remember from the minutes, you did. You did vote on. Uh, uh, yes, we did. When we were voting on we were changing the actual uh, uh, old bridge. When we were actually changing uh, the line. Okay, for well, the rest uh, of the towns, I think it was more just. How that. about a motion to say that we approve the correction on the change for the lines? That would be fine. Okay. Just so I have. Second. Okay, so I move that forward. Second. Roll call, Chairman. Yes. Commissioner Yes. Yes. Aye. Yes. No, no, no. Uh, oh, okay. uh, Steve's over there. Uh, uh, Linda. Aye. Thank you. Aye. Thank you. Uh, here. I have a lot of items in my report, but I just want to point out a few things. I listed the hearing <coughs> for the primary election for the commissioners when you guys are required to be here. And staff had been working really hard, not just data entry and poll work routine, but we were cleaning up the stock room, we're preparing the poll books, we've gone through the cases, we've done inventory. We haven't received the file yet, but we're ready. We're turning poll books on to power them up because IT is coming next week to next week to update them. So if you want to look at what staff is doing, there's a lot of stuff going on out there on the floor. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Uh, and again, mostly the written report, just the update on software updates. 
we will begin the poll book uh, software update starting on Monday. Uh, County IT working with uh, ESNS and the board will conduct that uh, next week. Uh, we intend for it to be completed by the end of that week, and then we'll do end-to-end -end testing of all the updated equipment uh, the week of May 15th. Uh, we did it prior to New Brunswick for the voting machines and the software uh, that was updated prior to New Brunswick uh, school election, and then we'll just do an end-to-end -end from the poll books all the way through the uh, regional reporting back to us so that we have everything tested prior to the uh, primary. Um, Poll worker training, uh, you know, uh, uh, Steve Nash from Warehouse is actually over at the, the college conducting preview training. Uh, the Commissioner uh, Engel and Benja Vanga attended uh, at Middlesex County College. Uh, formal training will begin next uh, on Monday for poll workers that need training prior to the primary. Um, again, there's not uh, a huge universe of people that need training. Uh, we have uh, scheduled open houses. Uh, we have talked about one, but we kind of expanded to three open houses for any poll workers that are currently trained that still need training. Still or excuse me, uh, yeah. that have been trained, do not need training, but would still like to kind of attend a session and kind of review. Refresher. Uh, yeah, refresher, any processes or any questions on equipment and such. Uh, as some of the commissioners saw, we, we've uh, created some additional content videos for poll workers. Uh, that we'll use as part of the training classes. So all told, I think we'll have like nine videos for poll workers. Are they on your website? It will be, uh, there's some last minute edits that we're working on, uh, but everything should be on We have the, to have uh, Cecil B. DeMille's successor to uh, go through. There, there are some, uh, there's some good silent acting going on by some of our, our staff. But uh, yeah, that should be up uh, early next week. Mm -hmm. So the edits are in with the county, uh, with the, I guess we went county marketing or county or whoever's producing the videos, uh, comms, and uh, that should be up by early next week. And then, probably to your point, is we'll send it out to the chairs yeah. when that's updated, along with the election training materials, so everyone has the most up to date information. And then we can forward to our poll workers. Mm -hmm. Yes. All that. Okay. Yeah. Cool. As well as the link. I mean, the link. The link will have all the videos, and, on, yeah. the, the, and that will also be on the website. So. Tom, um, you send that link and, and the stuff about that, including the commissioners, so I may see if I can yes. pass it out as well. Sure. Uh, and then, uh, again, just for the good of the board, it's just uh, uh, participated in most of this kind of school superintendent meeting where we kind of discussed the high school students being uh, 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 working as poll workers, and then also uh, Middlesex County College. Uh, Valerie had to uh, kind of work with and kind of sent materials to Middlesex County College uh, that, w that was being used to kind of recruit poll workers for so we get some lights. Yeah. Three. 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 Yes. Three. Three is better than zero. Yes. Um, and so, yeah, that, that, that's the, the bulk of the report. All right. I forgot one thing. Catherine, I went to Rockwood to say. Don't forget Rutgers Day. In the rain? I in the rain? It was indoors. Okay. It was quite a day. But a lot of people want to look at the voting machine, Good. not so much the poll book. <laughs> so it's fun. Okay, Commissioner comments? No? The public comment? Charlie? Yeah, good afternoon. Uh, pleased to be here. I wanted to start by saying thank you everyone for your work and my apologies for not being at the recent meetings. I did want to ask if I missed any issues with the New Brunswick school election. Did everything go off without a hitch? Were there any uh, problems? The last two meetings that we had were really just a ballot review and there were no I don't think we had any any signature issues. It was really they didn't include the ballots. They didn't include a ballot in the envelope or you know similar. It was a low turnout election, as you're probably aware. But again, from very quiet. we had some calls early in the morning, but they were mostly just uh, you know I don't mean equipment like wires and, and stuff like that were quickly resolved. But other than that, the rest of the day we didn't have a lot of phone calls from workers, or even that night. The results came in pretty pretty well then. Okay, and yeah, um, at the locations where uh, myself and my friends were, we were able to get the results and photograph them. We prefer to get a, one to take home, but we were able to at least get them. Um, I wanted to ask about our one polling place that we're still not restored, Providence Square. Does anybody here know if it's going to be coming back? 
uh, was... They, they sent a letter, they will be coming back. For the primary? For, um, no, not this year, next year. Got it. Okay. Thank you. Um, I, you know, am a candidate for Democratic County Committee and I've, you know, been uh, looking at the, the uh, registered voters and seeing that, that it appears the issue with my uh, ward and district lines has been fixed, at least as far as the mail-in ballots that went out, they appear to be going to the right place. Um, so I wanted to thank whoever was responsible for making that uh, correction and ask if there's, you know, any issues that have persisted. Like I know there was one with the fifth ward um, that I raised during the November election. Uh, has everything been fixed in New Brunswick? I, I know Mr. Lynch uh, very thoughtfully sent me the corrected map. Um, yeah, I think uh, a uh, month ago. Uh, I, you know, without having it from me, I don't know the particular one, but I think in whatever did I in the submission I gave you, I think I highlighted what the changes were. Some were cosmetic, but some were actually uh, corrections, which you know, uh, as well. Okay, I'll take another look at it. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to, uh, you know, note that there have been so many changes that it's really hard to keep track of. Uh, you know, what is responsible for, a, uh, you know, some error that might come up. So in this case, I still not quite clear on, on why there were those problems with the uh, ward and district lines. I wanted to know if anybody had any insight into it. Was it, uh, you know, Remington Vernick with, with their work or the SVRS becoming a new SVRS in 2019? I, I Correct me if I'm wrong, staff. I think most of the errors that we've encountered in terms of the, the ones we're asking for corrections are mostly having to do with, if you want to say, the S for S, the implementation of the shape files in 29, post, post 2019. 2020, we started. 2020, 2019, when we started. So, so when the shape files started to be used. Yeah. And again, most of, and again, most of what we're presenting to you are corrections because staff uh, in 2019 did the work with the municipal clerks in terms of identifying what was supposed to be, and, uh, and again, it was also Remington Vernick was part of that in terms of identifying what was correct and what should be, what was legacy and what should be uh, or, or in, uh, corrected. And it seems like some of those, and again, some of those streets or some of those issues when put into the shape files just didn't, I, I don't, I, I'm, not, I'm not the computer person, so I'll say it just didn't take. Uh, well, that's all my questions for today. Thank you. Okay. okay. Thank you, Gerald. <coughs> Okay, a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Yes. 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 Yes.